but um, I had a lovely, a lovely childhood. Um, we were both very loved. And the time I was in, in kindergarten, Dawn, and she was a real skinny girl, because I always had the skinniest girlfriends because I was fat. <laughs> this girlfriend was hitting on my boyfriend, this boy that I invited. <clears throat> This boy that I invited to the party, she was hitting on him all night. And she wouldn't leave him alone. And uh, I, you know what? She was my girlfriend since kindergarten. I never talked to her again. She found out I was Jewish. She said something and she said, I said, I'm Jewish. And she said, well, I don't really like Jews, but I like you. And I said, well, like me, like my dog. <clears throat> and I, I, was, I must have been eight, 10 years old. And I walked away from her. I baked the cake. I used to borrow the book. I was thinking of that today. I used to borrow the book from her and bake the cake. <laughs> Never occurred to me to write down the recipe. <laughs> you know, so I'd have it. But I remember it, I'd go over and ask her for the for the recipe for the book and she'd give it to me and I eventually and decided that she wanted to open up a dress shop. So she found a, a store on, on Lower Market Street and she was going out of the cleaning business and moving into the dress store and shopping and everything for that <clears throat> and she couldn't get out of bed. She had pleurisy. She was very sick. She had pleurisy and Martin at that time was uh, at the University of USF. He was in college. And because I used to do all that walking, you know, that was when I lost all that weight. I got, I got very slim. I got very slim and very athletic looking. That was because I walked every day for miles and miles. Were you a tennis player? <clears throat> no, I wasn't. He's missing his, his homesick and so on. And um, somebody said to me, oh, did you dance with that Charlie? I said, yeah. And they said, isn't he wonderful? I said, yeah. I said, oh no, well, I don't know. <laughs> he was, I you sound like your mother. Okay, go ahead. I didn't think he was such a good dancer, but I guess he, he was really a pretty good dancer. But I didn't think he was exceptional. Uh -huh. uh, anyway, um, that was when I first met him, but I went home with somebody else. Uh -huh. <clears throat> he, um, you the following day on the, on the Lurley, and we gave them a, we took them out to dinner and celebrated their leaving. And early the following morning, we got a phone call from them saying, we're not going because Pearl Harbor was bombed. That's how you found out from... That's how we found out about Pearl Harbor. And at that time, Charlie and I had just uh, furnished this junior four apartment, beautiful. We, did, we bought all the furniture from uh, Uncle Fred uh, who was in the uh, who was an interior decorator, and uh, we had a junior four apartment, brand new furniture, and uh, we lived in the marina, and we used to watch the ships come in and out. We were right above Garadelli Square. We could smell the chocolate, yeah. hot chocolate. Uh, for an internship, uh, we did counseling at one of the schools, and uh, they loved us there. The kids, the, uh, the kids wanted us to take them home. Anyway, so I got a counseling credential there. I got a master's uh, in education at State. Uh, and uh, eventually, um, when, when I walked in, I, I took my first job. I noticed that uh, there was a, one little boy there that sat in the back of the room and I was hiding the whole time. And he, he um, um, couldn't read, and this was, he was a sixth grader. And I kept asking uh, uh, for help from, from the uh, uh, CTA and from the teachers groups, and finally I kept saying, one of the things I kept saying the whole time is why can't they read, you know, why can't they? And finally I found some Sullivan reading material and I found out that I could teach the children 
who couldn't read. I could uh, uh, teach them with using phonics. I had to find this out uh, because they didn't tell us that in, in, in education courses. In fact, they didn't tell us very much in education courses. And um, I found out that through phonics, I could teach these kids to read.